what brings you to my house richard did you really tell your gate man not to open the gate for me anymore yes i did i instructed him not to open the gate for you and rita be thankful i came out to see you outside else i would have returned you home by force but why i thought we were friends do you really want to throw away many years of friendship because of a woman did you just say because of a woman <laughs> you have no idea how that statement sounds to me i am cutting ties with you because of the betrayal is this still the same thing dominic please think about this please forgive me i promise to be a loyal friend i hold nothing against you in fact i have forgiven you but i'm sorry richard i can't let you into my life anymore what about rita can you please take her back just few days she has stayed with me i already feel like i will lose my mind soon the both of you have nerves well it is my fault that i haven't set boundaries yet but see from today don't you ever step your foot in my house again i am serious dominic rita is jobless and she has so many cravings i have spent so much already you asked for it so deal with it we are not in good terms she is annoying one day i will run away from that house welcome richard what did you cook for lunch i am very hungry lunch i'm so sorry dear i didn't know you'd eat lunch today i did not cook anything why not i'm still tired and weak till now so i didn't cook anything you can eat out if you want so what did you do with the money i gave you to go to the market don't tell me you used it i used it i seriously didn't know you would request for lunch when you return you know you don't stay long in a house what is all this rita i gave you money to go to the market so you could buy what we'll eat this afternoon and night now you are telling me you use the money are you trying to raise your voice at me i just told you i used the money you can eat in one of those famous eateries what did you use the money for i used it for shawarma and ice cream i craved for those just this afternoon immediately you left i thought i bought shawarma and ice cream for you this money i craved for it again i'm sorry dear i'm tired i want to lie down what kind of problem have i gotten myself into Good evening, ma. Good evening to you too, my dear. Are you here to see someone? Yes, ma. I'm here to see Felix. Please, is he home? That is my son. Who are you to him? His girlfriend or you both are just friends? We are just friends, ma. I'm here because I have a very important thing to tell him. It involves his life. His life? Please, have a seat. Felix is not at home at the moment. Do you mind telling me about it? I'm sure you are very well familiar with Annabelle. The girl Felix wanted to marry. Yes, I know her. What is wrong with her? She's after your son's life. What? Annabelle is after my son's life? How? Who are you and how did you find out? She's a very close friend of mine and we stay in the same apartment. Why does she want to kill my son? Who does he done to her? Why does she want to take the only thing I cherish in this life? Please calm down. This is not the time to cry. Don't worry yourself. Everything has been sorted out already. I just thought it was right to let Felix know. Thank you so much, my dear. But do you have any evidence of what you are saying? Let me play the recording of her talking with the hitman. Now my mornings ain't heavy. Cause I'm falling. Oh, Felix, thank God you are home. Please come and sit down. There is fire on the mountain. Mom, what is the problem? I saw your message asking me to come home. I'm here now. What is the problem? A certain girl named Lucy came visiting earlier today. Lucy? What does she want again? Why can't they allow me to rest for once? Sometimes I wonder if this relationship is by force. She did not come to ask for a relationship. She came to tell you something very shocking about the woman you wanted to marry. And what about her? That Annabelle of a girl is after your life. She wants to kill you because you rejected her. So that was what Lucy came to tell you and you believed her? Mom, I don't believe such lie. Even though Annabelle was with dad in the past, I know for a fact that she's not a bad person. Listen to me, my son. That girl is not the kind of person you think she is. She's a killer and she wants to kill. She's a woman. How does she want to kill me? It will be better if you speak with Lucy directly so you can hear everything from her mouth. Okay then, the problem is that I don't have Lucy's number. I got her number before she left. I knew you would doubt me, so I got her number in case of necessity. She also played a recording to me. What you will hear will shock you. A recording? Maybe you are doubting me. Don't worry, it will shock you. Let me get my phone so I can call her to come over. Ah uh ah, -uh. who could this guy be since morning? Ever since I woke up in the morning, I haven't seen him. 
Now that I'm done cooking, he will not come and eat. Later, he will complain I don't cook at home. I think it's better I go and call him in his room. Yeah, that's better. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. His room is empty as if no one stayed here. Where could he go to? Where are his clothes and other properties? Let me call him. Hello, Richard. Richard, what is your problem? I just finished making breakfast. I went to your room to call you. I realized that almost all your properties, especially clothes, are missing. Of course. My things are missing in my house. Then you should mind your business. I should mind my business? How? We live here together. So something is wrong here. I have to be involved. Well, I guess it's your business now since you will stay there all alone from now on. My rent will expire soon. Do well to renew it. What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What I am saying is that I will no longer be coming back there. If I come back, I will only come to get my things. What is going on here? Don't tell me you are running away. If that is how you want to take it, then so be it. I am tired of all this, Rita. I never asked for any of this. You caused all the problems that is happening now. Richard, please don't go. How do you expect me to manage with this child? I am sorry, Rita. This is not what I want for myself. Have a nice day. Hello? Hello, Richard. Richard, please don't go. Rita, please stop crying. This is not the end of the world. How can you tell me to stop crying when my life has ended up to be like this? I have lost everything. No, dear. You haven't lost everything. You still have me and you have your child. This child has brought me nothing but sorrow. How I wish I can turn back the hands of time. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. You don't have to blame the innocent child for your mistakes. You made the mistakes and not your child. What should I do now, Bella? Henry left me. Dominic left me. And now Richard left me as well. Am I cursed? You are not cursed, my love. Henry made the right decision by leaving you. And you know why? He didn't leave you because he didn't love you. In fact, he was still in love with you when he called off the wedding. So don't blame yourself too much, dear. Then how about Dominic? Did he also make a right decision by leaving me? If you were in Dominic's shoes, you would have done the same thing. But you don't have to kill yourself about it. The deed has been done already. Richard left me with this child to suffer alone. I am here for you. You can bring back your things and live here with me. Thank you so much, Bella. I don't know what I've have done without you. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy Thank you for coming. Even though I invited you here in such a short notice. You don't have to thank me. You know I will do anything, especially when it comes to you. Thank you once again. So my mom told you so many things you said about Annabelle. Those things you said, are they true? Yes, everything she told you is true. I wouldn't have fabricated such lies against her. Everything is true. So why are you helping me? Because I want you and you are a nice person and you have never been bad to me. I cannot sit back and watch her harm you. Can you tell me how it happened and how you got to know about her plan? She told me about it personally. I requested I should help her find a hitman to kill you. I decided to contact one of my cousins that lives outside the city to come play as a hitman. Interesting. I told him everything he needed to say to her. He pretended like he's a hitman and charged her the sum of one million naira in exchange to kill you. Hmm, Annabelle, I never knew she is capable of hurting a fly. I already played the recording to you, mommy. If you need the recording as evidence, I can give it to you. Yes, I need the evidence because I'll be going to the police station now. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching See who is at home today, the almighty Annabelle. What are you doing here, Felix? I thought you made it clear we will never see each other again. Well, I am so sorry to break that rule. I came to see you earlier this morning, but I was told you went out. Welcome back from where you went to. You haven't still told me what you're doing here with this policeman. Why not guess it yourself, my love? Maybe I want us to have our wedding today with the policeman being our witness. I was very busy inside. If you don't mind, I would like to go back to what I was doing. You were busy inside? Am I having problems or what? I thought I saw you sitting comfortably here a few minutes ago. I am losing my patience. What are you doing here with the policeman? 
Are you scared? Don't tell me you are scared. If your hands are clean and you are sure you haven't done anything wrong, then you don't have to be scared. I am not scared. Okay then, since you are not scared, officer, I will leave her to you now. Miss Annabelle, you are under arrest for the attempt murder of Mr. Felix Lawrence. Me? Attempted murder? God forbid. My love, you know me now. You know I am not capable of killing anyone. You will explain better when you get to the station. Officer, please take her away. Miss Annabelle, to avoid pushing and dragging you to the station, with the little pride you still have, majestically walk into the car waiting outside. Annabel, my friend, you betrayer. How dare you show your face here? I am not a betrayer. I only did what I knew was best for everyone. Did you really think I would let you kill an innocent soul for your selfish interest? Yes, it was for my selfish interest. But you agreed to get a hitman for me. You shouldn't have involved yourself if you didn't want to do it. If I didn't involve myself, how would I have saved Felix? I know I did the right thing and didn't betray you. I am so disappointed in you, Lucy. You should be more disappointed in yourself, Annabelle. Felix wants to charge you to court, so you should worry about that and not me. He wants to charge me to court? No, he can't do that. You know I will not win the case if he wants to. Oh, you don't know that. If I were you, I would be remorseful and repent of all my evil deeds. It is too late, Lucy. Felix has an evidence of what I did. He will use it against me in court of law. Don't worry. I will talk to him about it. I am very sure he will give me a listening ear since I saved him from what you wanted to do. Are you sure you can do that for me? Irrespective of what you did, you are still my best friend. I love you and will help you get out of here. But on one condition. I will do anything. You will never ever think of hurting or harming someone because they rejected you. I promise I will never ever think of such thing again. You're only saying this because you are desperate to go out. I will beg Felix to drop the charges and make sure you stay here for six months. What? Six months? That is a very long time. Six months is too short. I would have made it two years. But since you are my friend, I will help you out. I want you to stay here and learn your lesson. If I beg him to get you out now, you haven't learned any lesson. Chai, Lucy, please now. Don't worry. I will always bring you food for the six months you will stay here. Thank you, my dear friend. If I ever escape from this place, I will never try this again. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. Love watching all Look at my life now. What will I teach my child? What will I tell him or her for the circumstances surrounding my pregnancy? Rita, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of who you have become. You should be ashamed of how your life has turned out to be. You should be ashamed of how you betrayed a man that truly loved you, all for your selfish interests. If I didn't stupidly and desperately want to get married, I wouldn't have put myself in this kind of mess. Well, I wanted to prove to Henry that I was a hot cake. That I could find someone else in a twinkle of an eye. I never knew I was destroying my own future. Now look at me. I'm about to be a single mother for my ex fiance's best friend. I guess that is what I would tell my child. I wish I had listened. I wish I had listened to my mother. When she lectured me on the dangers surrounding sex before marriage. I wouldn't have landed in this mess. This is a lesson I would teach my girl child. Sex before marriage is not just a sin. It is also destructive. I have learned my lesson in a hard way. I've been getting kinda used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you Don't wanna go back and forth 